welcome to Eat Your Backyard, my YouTube channel where I tell you about all kinds of cool tropical edible things including this thing which is a sweet tamarind and I got this at a local Hispanic grocery store that I love and it's the only place I know where I can get them locally and I usually can get one of two varieties or I can get both varieties one is the sweet tamarind and the other is the sour now I prefer the sour because it's way beyond what a sour patch tastes like um, in this video we're going to do a few things. I'm going to tell you about what this thing tastes like. Uh, I'm going to show you how to eat it, which is not obvious at first. It's actually got a hard shell. And then, this thing actually came with a whole bunch in here. I ate most of them. I only have three left, which I saved for this video. But here's the result. Lots of these black seeds. And we're going to also plant them. I'm going to show you a little trick that I'm going to use to see if I can get a better success rate. Also, I might go plant some of these little dandelion seeds I got from some nice dandelions that I thought the bunnies would like. Okay, first let's look at these delicious tamarind. So the thing with tamarind is that they are very sticky. But they are so delicious. Something like a fig maybe? But first thing to do is to just press it a little bit and crack this case. And it's got the consistency of something like a peanut shell, but much cleaner, much more clean. And if you crack it just right, you can wind up with not that many pieces of shell to deal with. If you do it right, you don't get the shell stuck to the side, but that's almost impossible. Once you have this, you remove the veins. There are these almost root-like looking things that grow along the side. You get those out and off. And there it is. It looks kind of weird and sticky. But what you do is you take off little pieces like this big and you just kind of chew the, the fruit off of the seeds and it has a little casing inside that you eat also, that's my favorite part. And then you take the seed part and spit it out. Next thing we'll do is check out how to get these things ready to plant. Okay, so we're looking at these really beautiful reddish black beans. And as you can hopefully hear, they almost sound like little stones. And there's plenty here, but the thing is when I have very tough shells like this, I always look to see, is there a way to crack it? And what you can see if you look right along the edge here, is a little line, meaning that yes, you can crack it. So I take these pliers and just squeeze lightly. Squeeze lightly again. Squeeze again, and there it goes. The shell popped off. And I did it without damaging the seat underneath, and I always think that's about all you need to do. You don't want to go crazy just so that the water can get in there, and then it'll typically just break the shell open. So I'm going to Use that as one.
Okay, it wasn't easy, but I got the shells off of a collection of them. Uh, let's see, eight to be exact. And that's how many I'm going to go plant in the pot. Now, why plant eight? Well, eight chances to win. I think I'll put it in this pot. I already have soil in. up very much and I'm just going to kind of push them each down about an inch. We'll see if we can get any. One right in the middle. Alright, let's water that in. Tell you what, this thing that I got not that long ago, watering wand is a game changer. Look at this. Four different settings on there. So there you have it, another addition to the collection. And I'll keep you posted as this thing grows, in addition to all these other cool things I have growing here in my What You Got Growing On series. I really expanded way into the rabbit zone for greens and also some cool heirloom varieties. Stay tuned for more episodes on that. Thanks for watching. Eat your backyard. Don't forget to subscribe.